Detail ten put. Present arm. Order arm. Rage rest. Guys, always uh, so a lot of road uh, Hey guys, uh, huh? They don't do it. No, the just the two man team. Detail ten hut three cent R
Order arm. I ask you to give me respect for your pirate comrade. When the call of our country was heard, Comrade Wayne answered, self was forgotten in the cause of the greater good. As a brave man, he marched away with an abiding faith to his God, his country, and his flag. Redder still by his heroism, the white more sailors to hear by the motive which impelled him. And the starry field of our nation's glorious banner, the blue has been glorified by the service he has given for American ideals. Great rest, Captain. Almighty and merciful God, Father of all, in the depth of our sorrows, we realize the truth of the inspired words. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. As comrade after comrade departs, we march on with the ranks growing thinner. Help us to be faithful unto thee and to one another. We beseech thee, look in mercy upon all us here assembled, and in thy own tenderness, console and for those bereaved by the hand of death. Give them the oil of joy of mourning, the garnet of praise of spirit and heaviness. Heavenly Father, bless our country with freedom, peace, and righteousness. And through thy sovereign and Holy Spirit's favor, may we all meet at last before thy throne of grace in heaven. And through thine great name shall be praised forever and ever. Amen. One by one, as the years roll on, we are called upon to fill these sad to respect for their hard comrades. Present, full of the cares that we send all nations, whether engaged in war or peace, fades away as we look back to the day this comrade left his home to defend his country. Imbued by a spirit of devotion, inspired by an undying love of his native land, he gladly went forth and joined with comrades, both young and old, to preserve our heritage of freedom. We trust that the example set by our comrades will prove a glorious people of the youth of our country, who is the bond of our flag. As the years roll on, we too shall finish our fight, shall be laid to rest, our souls felt the long column to the realm above, as all unfolding death, or by hour, shall mark his recruits. Comrades, let us so live that when the keeper of the eternal record shall have called our names for the last time, those we leave behind may say of us as we now say of this, comrade. Here lies all that is mortal of a true hearted comrade, fearless defender of his country and flag. The march of our comrade is over, and he lies down in the house appointed for all the living. We are reminded of the frailty of human life and the tenure by which we hold our own. In such an hour as we think not, the final summon may come, which no one disobeys. It seems fitting that we should leave our comrade to rest under the arching skies, as he did when he pitched his tent or laid down in the fields gone by, weary footsore by the roadside or on the field of battle. Our departed comrades of the Navy no longer hear the sound of the waves or float upon the bosom of the deep, no longer sail beneath peaceful skies, nor are driven before the angry storms. May each one of us, when our voyages and battles of life are over, Find a welcome in that region of the blessed where there is no more storm-tossed seas nor scorching battlefields. Our comrade is in the hands of the Heavenly Father, and God giveth him beloved sleep. He will be laid to rest, but let us cherish his virtues and learn to imitate them. Reminded by the place he fills no more that our ranks are growing thinner. Let each one be so loyal to every virtue, so true to every friendship so faithful in the remaining marches that he will be ready to fall out and take his place in the great review hereafter. Not in doubt, but with the faith that the merciful captain of our salvation will call him to the fraternity which on heaven and earth remains unbroken. The master saith, thy brother shall rise again. I am the resurrection and the life. 
thus shall return to us and the spirit of God who gave it. Earth and to ashes, dust to dust, and the spirit unto great spirit. What watches over the lights and souls of men. Amen. As we now continue the ceremony, I would ask you to stand if you can. And please place your right hand over your heart. Those of you who are veterans, please render a hand salute. Very spot. Detail. Detail. Present arms. Ready. Hey. Detail, 
present arms. Order arms. Our brother Wayne has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope and eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us peace the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. We read in Matthew, come you who are blessed by my father, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Almighty and ever living God, in you we place our trust and hope. In you, the dead, whose bodies were temples of the spirit, find everlasting peace. As we take leave of our brother, give our hearts peace in the firm hope that one day Wayne will live in the mansion you have prepared for him in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ensure in certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God our brother Wayne and commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. May the Lord bless him and keep him. May the Lord make his face shine upon him and be gracious to him. And may the Lord lift his confidence upon him and give him peace. God of holiness and power, Accept our prayers on behalf of your servant, Wayne, and do not count his misdeeds against him, for in his heart he desired to do your will. As his faith united him to your people on earth, so may your mercy join him to the saints and angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace, and may his soul and the souls of all the faithful be parted through the mercy of God. Rest in peace. And may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, fondly reflecting on your memories. That's it. Yeah. Well, this is pretty good. This doesn't break so good.